Hey guys and welcome back. This is Mike Hermes at Image Tutorials and today I want to address a question that I got from Conrad. Uh, it's related to a video that I posted a little while back, uh, how to uh, model and texture a brick wall. And his question was, okay, but can you also do a cylindrical wall? Okay, so that's what we're going to do. So we're going to start off in our polygons menu and we're going to create a cylinder. We're going to drag that out in the grid. I'm going to pull that up and I'm going to hit 5 for shaded mode. All right. Now we're going to give it a little bit more roundness. So we're going to go to our poly cylinder 1 cube uh, tab in the attribute editor. And we're going to increase the subdivisions to 40 like that. All right. And at the same time, we're going to create a ground plane and just drag that out in the grid. Okay. That's not too important in this case. All right. So. What we're going to do is we're going to right click on our object, we're going to go to face mode, and we're going to drag select all the faces in the middle. So not the top, just the middle. Okay. We're going to right click on that, assign new material, and we're going to select a Lambert. Then in our attribute editor, we're going to go to the Lambert tab, and in the checkered box next to color, we're going to go and select file. And then in the file folder, I'm going to pick up a texture file that I got and you can just look for something and I'm going to apply that okay now nothing is showing up yet so I'm going to go up here and hit my checkered sphere there you go and as you can see it's pretty distorted so we're going to fix that in a second okay but first what we're going to do is we're going to reselect those faces okay we're going to go to our Lambert down to bump mapping I'll just go down a little bit bump mapping Select File again. Click on this little black arrow here. Click on the folder. And we're going to select the same. Like that. Okay. Now, as you can see, it's still pretty distorted. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to select the faces once again. We're going to go up to Create UVs. And we're going to select Cylindrical Mapping. And as you can see, it's looking totally different. Okay. We're going to go to our render settings. I'll just uh, pull that up here. I'm going to uh, model in metal ray. I'm going to check my quality. I'll bump that up a bit. Whatever you prefer. I'm going to go to my common tab and I'm going to increase my file size to HD 720, something like that. Okay. Now we're going to zoom in on the cylindrical wall, something like that, then we'll give it a go. Here we go. Well, as you can see, the bump map is working out okay. Uh, it's giving some nice uh, depth to that. Um, don't mind the ground plane, not too uh, important right now. Uh, this is the effect that we were looking for. and. Uh, that's a pretty fast and easy way to uh, model a cylindrical wall. So we'll just uh, let the render play out. There we go. Well, that's all there is to it. If you've got any questions, let me know. Just leave them in the comment section. Thank you guys for watching, as always, and see you guys next time. Bye.